Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So this morning, we got out here, we tore the truck apart, brought it outside, we scrubbed it up, we got it all cleaned up and back in the shop. And it is honestly, it's crazy how much different this thing looks with just scrubbing like all the staining off. I don't know if it was just like old mold stains, a bunch of like little black dots all over this thing that came right off with some Scotch-Brite and some uh, Dawn dish soap. This thing's looking a lot better, just having it cleaned up. I've never really washed it. When we first got this truck and I started working on it, I pressure washed it, but I didn't really go through and scrub it. So now that we're all clean, we're gonna get this thing masked up and ready for some paint. Now, a lot of you guys have been bugging me to paint this thing. Now, you didn't tell me what color to paint it. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and we're gonna paint this thing clear. So I'm just gonna do a clear coat on the whole truck. I'm even gonna do inside the bed, obviously not the floor, but everything else inside the bed. Everything else on this truck has already been repainted. You guys know, we did the engine bay and we completely redid the interior, but the outside, I figure some shiny rust would look a lot better. So I got a bunch of uh, the turbo, the big cans of Rust-Oleum. And actually that stuff is pretty decent for uh, just a rattle can clear coat. I've been using it on a lot of other projects and it's been working out really good. So I figure this truck already has rattle can someone rattle can this thing i don't know years ago so it doesn't really pay to put a good 2k clear over the top of that just because it could potentially lift off all of this rattle can so we're going with a rattle can clear i think it'll look a lot better so let's get this thing masked up it's honestly there's not a whole lot we got windows we got a little bit in the engine bay the front and then wheels tires the inside of the bed and we should be ready to spray this thing out
Well, that's a wrap on the paint job, guys. Now, I wanna give you my quick, unbiased review of that turbo can. Now, that stuff puts down an insane amount of paint really, really quick. You gotta be careful. I did get a couple of runs in it, but it honestly makes painting a lot faster. Now, the one thing that I really do not like about them is the can is so big, it's got a lot of pressure in it. It puts out a lot of paint for about the first half of the can. The second half of the can is not so great. It's got really heavy edges on the top and the bottom of the fan. So when you're spraying, the inside is really light and then the outer edges is really, really heavy. And so when you're spraying, it's not even at all. And it really was causing me issues. I think that was the main reason I was getting runs. I don't have a bunch, but I did notice a couple little sags and it was along those places where you can see it was the edge of that fan. So I don't know, that turbo can really does save a pile of time. I was able to, to coat the entire truck in like five minutes. If I were to use regular cans, it would have probably taken me 20 minutes to coat. So saves a lot of time, but you gotta be careful. Puts down a ton of paint. And like I said, the last half of the can doesn't spray that well. But with all that being said, I love the truck. It looks so much better with a little bit of shine to it. Now just cleaning it up, scrubbing it up, and giving it that clear coat, I think, made a big difference in the appearance. I really, really like it. Why don't you guys go drop a comment and let me know what you think. Well, that was a wrap for this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.